Hello guys and welcome back to another blind reaction. Today is gonna to be My Little Pony Season 8 Episode 16. A uh, fuck, what was this episode called? Friendship University. And I mean, I can see that Star Swirl is gonna be in this episode. Since, well, the thumbnail is just a picture of stars. Star Swirl. Um, Friendship University? I don't know, is Twilight gonna branch out? Or it's gonna be like Star Swirl is gonna open a friendship university. He's gonna work with Twilight. So after you've done your studies in the friendship school, you could go to the friendship university. Maybe. I think that might be what this will be about. Um. But yeah, uh, holy shit, it's the 5th of August, yes, the 5th of August as I'm recording this. And it's kind of like, Australia has released episode 16 now. Um, I wonder for how long, or if Australia will be releasing two episodes every week until the season is over. Maybe? But we'll see. Or, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I will see, I will see. So let's just start. Dear Twilight, it is difficult to express how grateful I am to you for teaching me the power All right, so here we have Star Swirl traveling around. You would think after more than a thousand years there would be nothing left. Oh, to is that the pony that got his cutie mark taken by T-Rex in that alley in Canterlot? I think yet, so. Even a pony as old as I and continue to be ah, tree hugger by how much there is to know. You saved her life. Ah, uh, fuck, was it Dali that did the melting clocks? And I think he had a mustache like that as well. I mean, there was there were any real melting clocks whatever right there but it had that melting feeling i'm not sure i'll ever get used to it of course if he really wants to learn about friendship he could just come to our school professor sparkle the male pony just came with a few things the sewing machines i ordered for my class these oh Sure it's nice know. seeing Rarity happy like that, and look at that fucking plot shot, holy These shit. machines were costly, but I am quite certain the friendship lessons I can teach my students with them will be invaluable. <sighs> oh, don't worry, darling. I'll make up something, and I didn't use the school funds to buy these. I made the purchase entirely with my own bits. It's not that. It's oh, that. Rarity, you're too good. Why waste your time at a friendship school that's just a school? Learn everything they teach and more at Friendship University. Oh, right. So it's a competing business, not just a another place where they can study. All right. Yeah, that could be interesting, actually. Having some competition, even though uh, I, I mean. The fa I don't like the whole thing that this is a school where you are spending the, ho the whole year. I would prefer it was kind of like, maybe you spend two or three months in friendship school, you know. But you still have to go to normal school as well. Stuff like that. Who would open another friendship school? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. You're the princess of friendship. What could this other school possibly offer? It isn't just another friendship school. It's a university! It says they teach the same lessons of competing schools in half the time. That's twice the learning! And it's in Las Pegasus? If Professor Rarity oh, has sewing class. Las... Oh, is it gonna be Flim and Flam? Is Las Pegasus? They own the casino right there? I don't like to judge solely on appearances. No, wait. We did see Star Swirl, didn't we? Yeah. It's gonna be Star Swirl. Friendship school in the West. And maybe all of Equestria. Nah, uh, fuck off. But I don't see Star Swirl being this good at marketing. Maybe it's Gladmane. He's back. This is kind of like him being like, "Fuck you." Oh, welcome, 
friends, you are about to embark on a journey of amazing... No, it's Flim and Flam, alright. ...change your lives forever. Prepare yourselves to embrace a new path and become students of Friendship U. Flim and Flam. Of course. If you're alone and you can't make friends, we understand your... Oh, I fucking love Flim and Flam songs. There's just one way your friendships could take flight. It's a bit sad that the audio quality on this file isn't the best. It is from Australia, however, but so I'm, I'm gonna have to wait. It's like a week or two until the US episode 16. No, wait, the US released two episodes as well. As well. All right. Fuck off, Twilight. Stop being a fucking... Uh, what's it called? Heckler. Didn't you learn anything from that one episode where you heckled Trixie? Alright, sounds good. Oh yes, it's true. Even the princess of friendship agrees. The only place in Equestria to give out. Hey Twilight, that's what you get. Alright, that was cute. She was cute. Oh, it's it's a Twilight Rarity episode. I didn't even notice Rarity right there. I thought she was just an intro. Oh. Oh, all right. The Austria Educational Association has taken an interest in institutions that teach friendship in a pony first environment. Surely you didn't think your school has a monopoly on the concept. Well, she did write the book on it. Ah, yes. How to teach friendship to creatures who will one day use I fucking love Naysay. Against us. How could they use friendship as a weapon? You tell the same way you use it? Book. Meantime, this university appears to be a promising option for ponies who prefer to stick to the EEA book on the subject. You can't be serious. They're obviously up to something. It's Flim and Flam! Oh, well, that certainly wasn't your bad. fucking bitch, Twilight. One would think the head mayor of a school of friendship, albeit an unaccredited one, would behave differently. Unless she was trying to undermine the competition. Hmm? <gasps> oh, I love this. What? I am not. I did think the princess of friendship would be friendlier. Now, now. Fillies and gentle courts, let's show the princess just how friendly we are by signing up for some classes. I mean, I love this. I mean, I genuinely believe that Flame and Flam don't actually give a fuck about friendship, you know? Why don't I show you around? They're probably just going to, you know, easy sorry, money. But approval from but... the EEA won't convince me that this school is what you promised. And what would it take to convince you? Why should you have well, to convince her? Some opinion I respect, for one. Really? Some pony like this? Star Swirl! Twilight? Uh-oh. Star Swirl? What are you doing here? Why, studying friendship at Flim and Flam's wonderful school. Oh, please. I think I know a disguise when I see one. Take off that ridiculous beard. Flam! Oh, God. Come on, Rarity. Oh, it's really me. 
I'd heard rumors you'd returned, but I didn't believe it until now. And if a pony of your stature is studying here, there really isn't anything else I need to see. I, Chancellor Naysay, here confer <laughs> upon Friendship University complete and unreserved EEA accreditation. I... I don't understand. Why would you come here and not my school? My travels brought me to Lost Pegasus. I didn't come for the school, but Flim and Flam convinced me to try it out. You can't trust Flim and Flam. Why not? They spun the apples out of their farm. They sold fake health tonic. They run a resort in Lost Pegasus. Technically, so? our resort is a legitimate business. I spent a thousand years thinking the worst of a bad pony. You taught me to look for the best in him, whatever Flim and Flam's past may be. Starting this school shows they want to change for the better. Well, about that. I wish I could believe that. Besides, what's untrustworthy about opening a school of friendship? They don't even charge for classes. I don't know, but I know they're up to something. And until I find out, God. I'm begging you, come to my school. That audio school. glitch, what the fuck? I understand feeling threatened by competition, but my word, princess, I wonder if the ill manners of the creatures at your school aren't contagious. I think I will take my leave before I become infected. Oh, that's great! <laughs> I promise I'll visit your school soon. But for now, perhaps it's best if you return there. Listen to him. Get the you fuck out of here, Twilight. Friendship school, do you? Darling, of course not. Which is why we have to investigate. But we can't go poking around the school. Every pony will think I'm still just threatened by the competition. Only if we do it as ourselves. Alright. Oh, look at that fucking grin. Is this the first Twilight Rarity episode? I think it is. I mean, Rarity, you look hot as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, you still have your wings. Hey, strangers, are you two new here? We sure are. Completely new. Great. See you in class. Now, I read enough shadow yes, space. we know. Shadow space. Uh, we do know the ponies are fucking retards. All right. And I love bland old normal stuff. No frills for me. Okay, your turn. My name's Eye Patch. I have an eye patch. Perfect. Now, how do we start our investigation? I think we should split up. You enroll in some classes and find out what they're actually teaching. I'll look around and see what I can find. Assuming I'm not recognized. Welcome, Lewis. I mean, Let's Twilight should really have, like, a, a dress or something on, or an outfit, you know? If any of them should have it, it should be her. Question. Very impressive, Ms. Plainity. Well, 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 Ms. Plainity. Keep it up and you'll be ready for our next level in no time. <gasps> She's like, oh, yeah, you see? What's something generous you could do for me right now? I mean... Class, Plainity here is now my star pupil. If any of you want a chance at studying with Star Swirl, I'd take notes on her every action. Alright, so... Hello! I mean... The door's open, so I'll what are you doing, okay Rarity? Around, unless some pony says it's not. Alright then. The element of laughter and its applications. Okay, that seems pretty genuine. When to support your I really don't like this, what sense. they're doing. Huh. That's actually I mean, it is interesting as an episode, but... Uh, as what they're doing. true goal is to help friends become better friends. Uh, where's the proof that it's all a scam? There isn't any. Good job. Sparkle, did you really think an eye patch was enough of a disguise? No, I didn't. 
Well, then, we agree. The Dandy <laughs> will recognize the princess of friendship in this photo of you sneaking into our office. I can see the headline now. Princess of Jealousy, Twilight Sparkle, bent on ruining her competition. So it's exactly true. Like it's that, true. Destroy your reputation. No pony will want to go to your school after that. Hey, Twilight, you deserve this shit. Until the papers get a hold of this. Princess Unhinged, it'll be the talk of Equestria. Well, gentle ponies, I finished another stack. The lessons in these worksheets are quite fascinating. Twilight, what's going on here? No, oh, just your protege getting caught snooping in our office in disguise. Well, sort of. No, oh, honestly, Princess Twilight, envy does not look good on you. I'm not envious. I know these two are up to something. I'm just trying to find out what. The only pony I see who's up to something is the pony in this picture. And it is not the princess I know. Ah, <laughs> great. Well, fuck you, Twilight. Holy knows. shit. Unless so how are they gonna fuck this episode up? So far, I really fucking love this episode, but how are they gonna fuck it up? And not let it completely and utterly ruin you and your school. You can be generous with all sorts of things. Gifts, compliments, your time. <laughs> hey, eye patch. Where's your eye patch? Ooh, was your cover blown? You could say that. Flim and Flam took a picture of me sneaking into their office. Were we wearing our eye patch? If I don't stop investigating, they're gonna tell everyone. I mean, I'm pretty sure they knew who you were as well, Rarity. That's ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe I am just upset that Star Swirl came here instead of my school. Flim and Flam may have turned over a new leaf. We should probably just go home. Twilight, you are not the kind of pony to let your emotions cloud your judgment. If you think Flim and Flam are up to no good, you can't give up. Even if their lessons really are impressive. Wait, what? Which reminds me, can you get a message to Spike? I want to return those sewing machines. I need the bits if I'm going to keep advancing here. Tuition's free, but the worksheets sure aren't. <laughs> there we go. The worksheets Flim cost. Flam are charging for these? Well, they have to cover expenses. And Flam insists that everything extra goes to improving the school and... This is the scam, isn't it? Let's find out. <laughs> These lessons are so valuable. Are you sure I can't give you more? Uh, uh, unnecessary. Being able to share them with a pony like you is our real reward. Oh my, and you want to study alongside Star Swirl, hmm? It's all I have. Back for the rest when you can afford it. Oh, wait! I'll sell the shirt off my back! And that's the kind of determination that will get you to the next level. Student whose name I know. Twilight, oh, uh, all right. Do you go with the investigation? Think of your reputation. My reputation isn't worth much if I won't risk it for what I think is right. Besides, all right. But I mean, aren't the lessons actually good? They're just expensive. I mean... Well, brother of mine, we've got almost all the bits we need to expand our resort. If we add another and people are willing to pay for it, so... I don't see anything wrong with this, actually. A thing of beauty. But I was thinking, what if we added another extreme pool slide here? Oh, sure, as long as the pipes for the musical chocolate fountain go through here. But shouldn't it go closer to the pudding hot tub here? A fair point, but what? I knew your school was a scam. Well, 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 if it isn't the princess of jealousy, I guess we'll be going to the papers after all. Good, go. And I suppose I'll just lead your students into this secret room of bits and resort expansion plans. Uh, 
Let's not get hasty. You have something on us, we have something on you. Let's just call it even. I don't think so. You can destroy my reputation if you want, but using your students' bits to expand your resort is wrong, even if the lessons you teach are good ones. <laughs> of course they're good. We copied them from your book. We just skipped every other page. All the lessons have to tie. Ugh, fine. If you really want to call it even, give back the bits and stop charging for my lessons. Then you can teach them as much as you like. Go nah, fuck yourself. Running a school is more work than we thought. Besides, we almost have everything we need. I think not. Plenity? My star pupil? Not. Oh, he actually didn't know. Who? We decided to <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, they're like, who is she? Have we ever met her? Swirl, we were just about to return the bits you've collected from your students and close your school. Why? Yeah, that. Why? Oh, fuck off. Oh, it seems I'll never stop learning from your example. This is exactly what I meant, but they were gonna yes, fuck this up. episode up. What the fuck? I wish I had known it too. Thanks for returning our bits, but how are we going to learn about friendship now? You're not. Well, I can refer you to a fairly reputable establishment just outside of Ponyville. I'm quite certain the head mayor would consider. Yeah. Kill the competition, Twilight. Good job. And then you're not gonna take money from them from the studies. You're just gonna use the fucking taxpayers' money. Fuck off. could have gotten a copy of your book. Uh, I finished straightening up in the library. Professor Rarity, I just wanted to make sure you're definitely keeping these. But of course, darling. If there's one thing I learned at Friendship University, it is not to give up when you know what's right. And I know teaching friendship through sewing is right. I just need to figure out how. Alright, so was it Cozy Glue? Because she said, how did they get a copy of your book? And then... Coast Glow just came in all of a sudden. So I'm guessing it was her? I mean, they're obviously doing something about, you know, oh, Coast Glow is. You know. Probably. I don't know. Alright. So yeah. But that actually makes me think alright, Coast Glow, what are you up to? Or maybe they're just doing that deliberately because of the previous Coast Glow episode where you were supposed to feel like maybe that's a double trick you know because they're making it so obvious that there is something about Coast Glow but then in the end it was kind of like yeah she you know it wasn't anything that big she was just fucking awkward or whatever I mean she does have a chest piece but then they do it like this. It's kind of like, wait, is there anything wrong with her? Anyways. Other than that. Overall, I really, really liked this episode. I loved this episode up until the ending. The ending was so trash. Before the ending, it was an 8 out of 9 for me. You know, like a 7 out of 9, 8 out of 9. But the ending took it down to a 5 or 6. You know, probably a 5 I would say. So, ah, oh, which was so sad. I mean, why? Why would they <laughs> give back the money? No, fuck off. You fucking paid for it, you fucking assholes. The lessons were good. They trimmed down her lessons, make it easier, more accessible. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, they, they did remake her lessons. There's nothing wrong with that. So what Twilight is basically doing is that she's killing off the, all the competition. So stupid. I mean, they should really go to the news even after that. Flame and Flame could so easily spin this to their favor. And they could have been, no, we're not giving them back the money. Why should we? We give them good lessons. And the thing is, Twilight... How do you? How does your school operate? You get taxpayer money, probably. She's not fucking paying for it. You know, 
At least Flame and Flame are paying all of this shit themselves. So yeah. Fuck Twilight. <laughs> Even though I really like this episode. The fucking ending, fuck her. And Rarity, fuck both of them. Um, I'm 100% on <laughs> Flame and Flame's side here. I mean, Twilight was completely right that Flame and Flame, you know, are not doing this for friendship, but does it matter why they're doing this? Like they said, hey, your lessons are good. Okay. And I did like Naysay, he's kind of like, you know what? We've been interesting, in, we are now more interested in the actual friendship schools and all that to go around and see. So obviously the EA had learned something about this. And I'm still on his side in the fact that, hey, these other creatures could be using friendship as a weapon against your ponies. The, I mean, if you look at the history between the ponies and all the other races, the other races have been trying to kill and exterminate the fucking ponies all the time. They're declaring war on the ponies because a party wasn't 100% perfect. And one of them tried to invade ponies and enslave you twice. And the griffins are just a general asshole. So, I mean, the griffins, there really isn't any problems. Um, and the dragons. The dragons have been terrorizing Equestria. And the thing is, I mean, yes, she's a dr uh, Ember is a dragon lord, but is she the dragon lord of all dragons? I don't think so. I think she's the dragon lord of that specific part, you know, that tribe that controls the dragon lands, you know? Because of the fact that the dragons we're seeing in their little tribe and all that, you know, it's just. I mean, I kind of wish we would be like, you know what? An elder dragon is attacking Equestria, and they're like, what the fuck is an elder dragon? Then it's like a dragon that ha is like super fucking powerful that doesn't answer to fucking Ember. I kind of want to see more dragon tribes and just seeing like the more powerful dragons. Because the p dragons in the, drag in the dragon lands are fucking bitches. They're punks, you know, they're small, they're weak, they're shit. These big dragons that we used to see early on in the season. I would love to see that the majority of them are independent. They're like, I, we don't belong to any any tribes. And there could also be other tribes that are just so much more mature. So yeah. Fuck. This was a good episode, but I fucking hated the ending. Which is, seems to be a problem with season 8. Their endings seem to be... Awful. Seems to be just the worst. Which is sad, but yeah, it's something they have to work for. I really hope season nine is like like what like one of the comments said, like season I mean if they could be close to season two, just quality when it comes to enjoyment and all that, then that would be great. So yeah, season nine. I mean soon my little pony is over and Judging by season 8, I'm kind of like, I'm glad. I'm glad that it's dying. 